your last appearance for PFL was amazing. The crowd was special. It was a great night. What does it mean for you to be back in Paris at another PFL Europe card? Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, to make the show again. You know, to uh, to give to the crowd, the French crowd, what they want. Fantastic. Well, you certainly set the bar high last time around. So, uh, without delay, we'll just turn it over to the media. Tani, I'll give it to you. Harry, please start us off. Hi, Cedric. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you is, after your last fight, you obviously went viral for walking out with the mattress and starting in the crowd, um, the chant with the crowd. Do you have any tricks up your sleeve or anything planned uh, for this upcoming fight, given how popular the last one went? Yeah, of course. For every fight, I, I got something, you know. We are we are preparing something in uh, as soon as uh, possible. As, so, as soon as uh, we're going to make it, you know, get it done, we will... Uh, let you guys know and oh, obviously uh, we would let uh, Bucky know. Thank you. <clears throat> Patrick. Hi, Cedric. So uh, the couple of the guys from the PSG soccer team came out like Mbappe and Dembele for your last fight. Can we expect to see them at this fight as well? Yeah, of course. Definitely. They, they don't want to miss another nine second knockout so uh the the night is gonna be short so uh they they can wait to come back and uh even more more people uh will come uh, to uh you know to to watch this fight in in life so you've trained with some of the legends of the sport saladin parnas i mean you just you've trained with a lot of some of the best fighters in the world i wanted to ask you who is your favorite for training partner from france from France, um, I have so many uh, training partner, but uh, yes, yeah, Saladin is uh, definitely the one uh, who is uh, uh, the most uh, talent, talentous guy. And um, for me, it's gonna, you know, he he has a very, very, very good future, and uh, he's uh, definitely, I think, the the best one. You know, I mean, he's a complete fighter. You know, his uh, his striking, his wrestling, his uh, BGG, everything is uh, on top. So uh, Saladin is a very good uh, training partner. So just, I also uh, I'm just a little bit sad because he's uh, like his weight is he's smaller than me, but uh, anyway. So I also wanted to ask how important you thought this fight was in terms of the growing the popularity of MMA in France and just how big this fight would be in France. Definitely the biggest uh, MMA fight uh, in uh, in Europe, in France, French history. So um, I, I'm glad to be part of that and uh, to be a massive uh, actor of, uh, of that. And uh, yeah... We never saw uh, this uh, this type of um, of hype uh, around uh, uh, any fight in France, so I'm very glad. Salut Cédric, Tom pour uh, Stade Perform. Je vais poser la question en français. Je laisserai le soin de Louise uh, de Stradger. Uh, avant ton combat contre Jordan, uh, Jordan n'a jamais répondu à ton press talk, même en conférence de presse. Là, Baki est en train de le faire un petit peu via les réseaux sociaux. Est-ce que tu t'y attendais et surtout, qu'est-ce que ça te fait d'avoir quelqu'un qui te répond enfin? Uh, it's not for the first time because uh, even if you know my my story, uh, even Myrtle Grunard and uh, Nick Holskan, my last opponent, uh, used to respond, and I had also opponent like uh, Jimmy Vieno, or maybe uh, I don't know Jimmy Vieno, Tong Shai. Uh, you have so many different uh, different type type of guy, those who can respond, those who who stay quiet. So, um, uh, you know, I, I know my work, my job, you know, I'm used, uh, I used to, 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 to do it. So uh, I knew that um, uh, Baisangur uh, would uh, respond and uh, I like it, you know, otherwise it's going to be a little bit uh, boring, like against Jordan, you know, a guy who doesn't respond to you, you know, is boring. We are we are two in the case, so it's good if he, sometime he respond, and uh, that's funny for the for the for the audience, but uh, still anyway, you know you can respond uh, as as you as you can as you want, 
doesn't matter because you're going to get knocked out. So, uh, uh, and it's not because you doesn't respond. It's not because you respond that I don't get in your head. I don't get in your skin. So in the fight, we will see. And no matter what, I know I get on the, uh, uh, on the skin of uh, every opponent of me. Merci Cédric. Et deuxième question très rapide. Tu as rempli l'accord Arena en quelques minutes. Ça a été très très rapide pour la vente de billets. C'est la folie autour de ce combat. Est-ce que le prochain objectif, c'est de remplir un stade comme le Parc des Princes ou le Stade de France Yeah, uh, obviously, you know, and uh, I want to thank the, the fans because, uh, because of them, you know, because uh, without them, nothing is possible. Um, and uh, my ambition is, uh, of course, to, um, to, uh, to get sold out uh, a stadium like Parc des Princes and uh, why not my my very my dream career is to uh, get sold out a, a, a stadium like uh, Stade de France that's that's what I, what I want to I want to do next merci Cédric uh recently in uh, in the Ariel Ariel Elwani show Benoît Sandy was asked if you were the face of French MMA and he responded that you couldn't be the the face of French MMA because you were not at the highest level. That it was Cyril Gann, the face of French MMA, and maybe he will be once he becomes UFC champion as he wants. Uh, do you agree with that? And is it important for you to be the face of French MMA? Of course, uh, I'm not agree with that. Uh, I think, and I'm 100% sure that I am the face of MMA in France, and everybody knows that. Uh, of course, it's hard to to say it because uh, uh, for, for for some people, you know, uh, if you're not in the UFC, you can be the face of MMA uh, because they think like uh, UFC is uh, is like the top guys, you know, and that's not that's not wrong. But still, you don't you don't have to be a the UFC champion to be uh, the face of MMA in your country, you know, it de it doesn't depend of your only of your, perf your performance, you know, it depends of uh, who you are, what you do, what you can make, uh, can you sold out, you know, Benoît can, can he sold out uh, uh, Accor Hotel Arena in 20 minutes? I don't think so, so you cannot be uh, the face of MMA, Cyril Gann, can he? Uh, sold out uh, the Alco Hotel Ar Ar Arena in even one hour, one day. I don't think so, but Cedric Dumbe can. So I think this type of things make me uh, be uh, the face of MMA in France. And just a second one. Last year, last August, we did a show together and we were talking about all your progress in the ground game, in the ground work. What would you prefer? Would you prefer that this fight ends like the one with Jordan Zebo, quick KO? Or would you prefer that it goes on the ground and that you surprise and you shock the world by your, by your work on the ground? I prefer a first no, first round knockout. You know why? Because um, I still want people to, you know, to get crazy, to dream about what is my level on the ground. So that's why I don't want to show. I just want to be, you know, that that's what make me uh, surprise my opponent because they, they doesn't know they don't know about my level on the ground so they, they you know they they are lost so they don't know Baki gonna come he don't know he doesn't know my level on the ground so he, he doesn't know how he can train you know so people are just talking and talking that's why I don't want to show them if I he can if I can stay on my on on my feet I will do it and knock him out Yeah!